Welcome. It is Monday Thursday. And remember, we are part of a parade. We are witnesses. And today we are going to be the witness of Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. A time when we see that Jesus was truly man, truly human, but also truly God. And why do we focus today on Jesus as a human being? Because we can see the fear, the pain that he is going through. Even when he had that conversation with his disciples in the garden, you can clearly see that something is troubling him. And let us read this, for instance, in Matthew 26. Matthew 26 from verse 38. Then he said to them, this is his disciples then, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. My soul is troubled. I experience sorrow to the point of death. Can you hear that Jesus is thinking about what's going to happen with him next? And now I want you to sit still. Listen to the next phrases in the scripture reading. And try to find those bold prints, those things that is standing out. Then I'm going to give you time to meditate about it. And afterwards, I will close with a few Matthew words. Matthew 26, from verse 39. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for an hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed. My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away, Unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping, because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more, and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Did you ever think about it? What would happen to us if Jesus was trying to exit, to take the off ramp and not going through the crucifixion? There were moments in the garden of Gethsemane where he asked the Lord, Father, is it possible that this cup can pass me? He asked it three times. Isn't there a possibility that there can be an exit, a different way how we can approach this. And in these three questions of God, let this cup pass me if it's possible. He always end, but if it is your will. Just think about it. A lot of times we also pray and we ask. And God doesn't give us always the answer that we expect him to give us. And thanks heavens for that, that Jesus Ask the question to the Father, is it possible for me to exit, to take this off ramp, not to go through this? Luckily, the God of all gods, our Father, said, no, you have to go through this. Just think what would happen with us if he allowed it to pass Jesus, that Jesus can take the off ramp and exit. And you and I wouldn't be saved today. You and I wouldn't have this privilege to see eternal life with God. 
let us also end up in the garden of Gethsemane today. Let us get quiet. Let us start praying. Let us also start with, if it is your will. It is a time today where we are witnesses of Jesus that ask his father, let this cup pass me. We are witnesses of a God that loves us so much that he did not allow his son to take the exit, the off ramp. He said, I love you so much that I will give you my one and only son so that you can be on your way, on your journey to eternal life. What do you and I need to do now? What is our response to this? Believe. Trust God and thank Him that He did not allow Jesus to take the exit. Merciful God, thank You that You sent Your Son so that He could die on that cross for our sins. So that we can have the opportunity to live free from the sin. That we can be saved from sins. Or help us to react in a thankful manner. Today is a sad day. Luckily we know about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Though, although this is a symbolic day where we look at Jesus at the cross. Where we can hear his final cross words, we also know there is hope. There is an open tomb which we're going to celebrate. We praise your name. May today, Monday, Thursday, where we think about Jesus on the cross, be a blessed day. Kneel before this King, because he's the King of all kings.